The City of Milwaukee's Environmental Collaboration Office, ECO, is pleased to sponsor the Feed MKE project. As announced earlier, this project is being funded through a $400,000 grant from the USDA's Compost and Food Waste Reduction Program. This grant also includes dedicated funds for redistributing to organizations within the community. We are providing mini grants that will offer a total of $127,500 dedicated to food recovery capacity building through partnerships with local food-based businesses, food banks, and community-based organizations. We also have additional funds set aside to support dedicated composting initiatives, including on-site composting supplies or the institution of subscription-based composting services at community locations. Applications for the mini grants are now open at milwaukee.gov slash feedmke mini grants. Please note that all applications will be due by Friday, November 22nd at 11.59 p.m. Central Time. We are offering mini grant workshops to support the act of applying, especially because individuals and organizations are often at various phases of familiarity with the process of application and often lack dedicated staff to support application goals. These informational workshops will be offered at a host of locations throughout the city starting October 9th. You can sign up for any of these optional workshops at milwaukee.gov slash feedmke mini grants. We're also providing an application walkthrough in the slides that follow for those who might need a bit of extra support or those who want to review the application before attending one of the available workshops. When you access the application at the Feed MKE website, you'll note that an introduction to the process is provided first. The next set of information that you'll be asked to provide includes general information about you and your organization. Please note that all questions marked with a red asterisk are required. The first three questions ask you to identify your name, your email address, and the name of your organization. The next three questions ask you to provide a physical address for your organization's headquarters. Please note that only organizations located in the city of Milwaukee are eligible for this mini grant process. We're also asking you to list your organization's website and any social media links if applicable. Finally, on this page, we're asking you to identify which of the three primary objectives of the Feed MKE project most directly connect to your mission. You may select more than one response if applicable. In fact, you might select all three. The options are to reduce food waste, to feed hungry people, and to keep food out of landfills. The final question on this first page is asking you to identify which of the two options for funding you intend to pursue. Please note that your selection will determine the questions that you see on the next page. Again, those options are for food recovery, in which case grants of $5,000 to $30,000 for four to eight organizations supporting food recovery capacity building through partnerships with local food-based businesses, food banks, and community-based organizations will be awarded. Or you may select composting, where grants of $5,000 to $20,000 for three to five organizations will be awarded for on-site composting supplies or to institute subscription-based composting services at community locations. We will walk through each selection so that you can see the slide that follows and plan your response. If you select the food recovery option, please note that we are providing four categories of projects that we're looking to fund. There is another option in case your proposal falls outside of those four categories. However, please remember that we are attempting to prioritize the categories listed. Those categories are one, your organization will use the funds to partner with a local restaurant, food truck, cafe, bar, catering company, or other kind of food and beverage business in order to redirect food to those in need. Two, 
Your organization will use the funds to partner with a local farm, gardener, producer, gleaner, or grower in order to redirect food to those in need. Three, your organization will use the funds to partner with a local grocery store, farmer's market, specialty shop, or retail establishment in order to redirect food to those in need. And four, your organization will use the funds to partner with a local food pantry, food bank, existing food-focused charity, or other social organization to support their efforts in redirecting food to those in need. The second option focuses on grant funds available for composting. As with the food recovery options, we're looking to meet the goals in four specific categories. Again, you may select an other option. However, we will be prioritizing the types of projects that meet these four goals. Number one, your organization will use the funds to implement a new subscription-based composting program in order to redirect food waste away from landfills. Two, your organization will use the funds to provide and or create a new drop-off composting solution in order to redirect food waste away from landfills. Three, your organization will use the funds to provide a pickup and or carting solution to collect compost from subscribers in order to redirect food waste away from landfills. And four, your organization will use the funds to serve as a vendor for bulk pickup or delivery of compost to subscribers in order to redirect food waste away from landfills. The next section of the grant application is the same regardless of whether you select food recovery or composting efforts. We will go through these next nine questions now. Please note that there is a 4,000 character limit for each narrative response. Question nine is an introduction. Please provide a descriptive title and summary of your project. Present a statement of need or assessment of the problem. Define the intended beneficiaries of this project and include the zip codes of the area impacted by your project activities. Please identify any underserved communities and describe your approach to determining the critical elements and needs of the local food economy or food system of the area or communities to be served. Make sure that you describe how this project will initiate, build upon, or expand related work or programs. The summary should also include the relevance of the project to the purpose and priorities of the option for funding you've selected for the mini grant process. In other words, the food recovery option or the composting option. Question 10, please tell us about your mission, vision, and strategic plan. You should provide a brief statement of your organization's mission, vision, and strategic goals. Please describe past and current involvement with developing and testing strategies for planning and implementing municipal food recovery or composting plans. You should also present a statement of need or assessment of the problem in the targeted community. Describe your approach to solving existing problems and concerns related to the issue. This section should also include a brief narrative about how your work positively impacts the community. Question 11 connects with goals and objectives, part one. Your response to this question will describe the overarching goal of your project and list any supporting objectives that may accomplish this goal. In this case, you will identify specifically how the project addresses the most preferred food waste recovery activities as described in the EPA's wasted food scale. The hyperlink will take you to the EPA's website. The image that you see on the website should look like this. In question 12, you're being asked to describe your goals and objectives part two. This connects with the anticipated impact of your project on priorities of Milwaukee's climate and equity plan. This would include goals of advancing racial equity and promoting environmental justice. This element may include, but is not limited to, participation by marginalized groups or groups serving underserved or vulnerable communities and or activities with the potential to address the causes or impacts of climate change. The hyperlink included in this question will take you to the climate and equity plan. Please familiarize yourself with big idea number nine, which connects with waste reduction and sustainable consumption. While the Eco Office is concerned with all 10 of the big ideas, 
the mini grant projects connect most explicitly with big idea number nine. Question 13 connects to process and planning. Here you should clearly identify the primary goals of your proposal. Be sure to include any potential obstacles and for each obstacle, address how you would work to address those obstacles successfully using the resources available in your organization or those you will leverage within the community as you would implement the funded project. For question 14, tell us about your internal champions. Please identify which members within your organization will be responsible for leading each effort in your proposal. For each person listed, provide a brief summary of their unique qualifications and include any specific credentials that will help them drive success. You may also include links to biographies found on your organization's website or other places on the web, but you must provide a brief narrative summary of the qualifications of your internal partners within this section of the application. For question 15, please identify any external collaborators. You should list any collaborators or partner institutions you intend to engage if you were to be awarded funding. Identify why the partner would be chosen, how its activities will contribute to the success of the project, and list the nature of any partnership arrangements. Where possible, project collaborators should represent a variety of disciplines and experiences directly related to the deliverables proposed and complementary to the qualifications of the core project team. For question 16, methods of evaluation, provide a plan for evaluating the accomplishments and outcomes that will match the project deliverables. Include a timeline of activities with milestones and verifiable indicators to demonstrate how progress will be measured and achieved. Include any anticipated or demonstrated economic benefits. Discuss if the project's strategy to reduce food waste and or increase community compost has the potential to be replicated in other areas. Question 17 is about self-sustainability. In this response, you will describe which aspects or components of the project will continue beyond the end of the project period. You should discuss how a one-time infusion of mini grant funds would support the proposed pilot project to advance your goals and achieve sustainability. The next question connects with the budget narrative. For the first question in this section, you should provide a budget narrative that outlines in specific detail the amount of funding you are requesting and how that funding will be used. Make certain that your funding aligns with the information that you provided in section C of this application form and clearly connects with or supports proposal outcomes. For question 19, please indicate what type of entity your organization is registered as. Options could be registered non-stock or non-for-profit corporation, a cooperative, a for-profit business entity, or an other type of organization or entity. Please know that at this time, we will not be funding individuals. We are looking to fund community organizations with capacity to implement the projects that are proposed. Finally, before you submit your application, please carefully read this section on conflicts of interest. Because the mini grant process will be redistributing federal funds, the conflict of interest statement must be confirmed. That statement reads, no employee, officer, or agent of your organization may participate in the selection, award, or administration of a federal award if he or she has a real or apparent conflict of interest. Such a conflict of interest would arise when the employee, officer, or agent, any member of his or her immediate family, his or her partner, or an organization which employs or is about to employ any of the parties referenced, as a financial or other interest in, or a tangible personal benefit from, an applicant considered for a federal award. If you can confirm that statement, please proceed to question 20, where you will affirm that you have provided truthful and accurate responses to all questions and narrative statements, that you have fully disclosed to the City of Milwaukee all relevant and appropriate information, and that you can confirm that there are no conflicts of interest as defined in section E above. After you read, review, and select the confirmed button, you will be able to submit your proposal.
If you have any questions, please contact the Food Waste Coordinator of the City of Milwaukee Environmental Collaboration Office, Andy Shaka. The email is ansciA at milwaukee.gov. Phone is 414-708-0068. And the website for more information or to sign up for an application workshop or submit your application can be found at milwaukee.gov slash feedmke project. As always, we encourage you to stay connected with ECO and the Feed MKE Project. Our social media links are here. And if you go to our website, you can sign up for our quarterly newsletter. We look forward to seeing your application. Please reach out with any questions. Thank you.